I've got so much mail again. This is a special edition version though. You'll get to find out at the end why. I don't even know where to start. I'm just going to, uh, actually I do know where to start. I'm going to start with this one on the bottom. This is from Bet You Can't Guess. DLC PCB. Two packages. One and two. Okay, we've got Ooh, another pin. We've got PCBs, ESP32. Unusual packaging. Wow, how thick is that plastic? These are my ESP32 development boards. They look pretty sexy. Oh, and I forgot to move the text at the bottom, so it's gone off the edge. Oh well. I need to find out whether I made a mistake on these or not. Jonathan Oxter wants to know if I've botched up my boards. This also came with a stencil, and it looks like I forgot to set the stencil size, custom stencil size. So they've sent me a full-size stencil. Okay, I didn't get the stencil in a frame, luckily, but I have this massive, massive stencil for a tiny little board. Let's grab a board again. Look at that. <laughs> that is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. I wonder if I can cut it down to size. That's okay. Either way, it's a stencil for the board. I can definitely use it. Very excited. Put that away. Let's grab PCBs. Put them away carefully. I'm not going to throw them behind me. That'd be very, very silly. Okay, next. We have a package from DigiKey. Parts. My ESP32. Okay, what have we got? We have got some ferrite beads. Cool, 10 of those. We've got some PTC reset fuses. 10 of those. We've got some twin NPN transistor ICs. Cool. Some FX231XS. I think I only got five of those. Five. Why? Because they're super expensive. And I don't even know if I'm going to continue using these beyond this set of boards. So, they're my parts for the boards, plus I've got all the existing parts, all the passives and everything else ready to go, so I can start putting a board together. Not right now though. Next package. Okay, this is an OR key, OR key, something key. It's supposed to be a 20,000 milliamp hour USB battery pack. Let's find out, shall we? Let's have a look at it. It actually looks quite nice. So we've got out one and out two. It's obviously a charge light, micro USB. It's in your battery unit. Turn it on. Does it show? Is there a meter? No. I have no idea. It occurred to me the other day that I didn't have a USB battery that I could sit on my desk, my workbench. So I'm always trying to find some cables I can plug into some mains. I've got some power boards that have got the USB connectors on them, and I have nothing that's portable. So I did a shout out to some other makers, and I think it was David Watts who recommended a few brands to me. One of them was the Alki, Alki, something key. And so I grabbed one. Let's do this package, because it feels funny. And what is inside it? Plastic sheet. Now, I'm pretty sure I did not order any plastic sheets. These are some more. Anti-static bags. With a ziplock on top, again. Now I have more bags than I know what to do with. I can't, I don't recall ordering two lots. Maybe I ordered some from AliExpress and some from eBay, I'm not sure. What's next? Okay, this is development boards module. Okay, I believe you, but I have no idea what it is. Let's find out. Okay. It's a Wemos. Wemos D1 Mini. That took a long time to get here. Bit of an anticlimax. Sorry, folks. Here's another one. This is an expansion board module. Quite small, whatever it is. This is... I don't even know what this is. Let's open it up. What is this? It looks like an aerial. This is a Blox. 
Neo 6M0001 and Neo 6M GPS. I don't recall ordering a GPS. I wonder if someone sent this to me. Okay, I'm excited to find out where that came from. Okay, here's another one. We've got expansion board module. Didn't the last one just say expansion board module? Okay, now I'm starting to freak out because now, where am I getting all this random mail from? Ah, this one I know what it is. Cool. This, I'm gonna have to open this up. It's a MAX31855 module. So this is a thermocouple sensor that has support for a K-type thermometer, which I've already got for my reflow oven. That's the adapter there for the, uh, the K-type, I believe. Gets soldered into that point there. This little module interfaces with an Arduino, which means I could potentially connect this to my reflow oven. I know that there are quite a few different solutions already out there. There are lots of people who have done videos on how to mod their toaster ovens to be able to either control the power turning on and off and all sorts of other stuff. I found this on eBay when I was looking for something else and I thought it was quite interesting. I actually ordered it in start of March, I think, when I was working on my toaster oven, when I put the thermocouple on the back. So I am looking forward to seeing what I can do with this. I'm going to connect it up to a microcontroller and have a look at how good it is and maybe what I can do with it, even if I'm not going to control the, the reflow oven, is that I can at least maybe graph what the reflow temperature is doing. That'd be interesting. That'd be nice. Looking forward to playing with that. But for now, let's put that away. I have one more package, which is this one here, but I've actually got another package after this, which is not on my desk. This is exciting. Let's open this one. I know what this is. I bought this from Tindy. Been waiting for this for a while. There are two items in here, and what they are, what they call Frogo Pin Development Boards. So one for the ESP32, and one for the ESP8266. Let's do the ESP32 one. Let's open this up, take the cable out. This is very cool. So what it is, what they both are, are special development boards. If you have a look here, you can see there's an ESP32 on there. A nice acrylic bottom so you don't short anything when you're putting it down. It's a full board with GPIOs all broken out. But the exciting thing is the actual area that the ESP32 is sitting in is inside frog pins. So the board is designed, I have no idea how to pull this out, I have not looked at the instructions, but I believe, there you go, there is the ESP32. So I can take my ESP32 modules and I can put them in here carefully. Let me see if I can do this on camera. I don't want to break it. Here we go. I can put them in, I can program them and I can take them back out again. So it's a great way for me to be able to test the modules and to be able to program them independently of putting them on a development board. So I found that on Tindy. I think it was about $19. And then I went to order it and I found this. Exactly the same again, but this one is for the ESP8266. And here is an ESP8266 module. Now, why would I care about the 8266 now that I'm working with ESP32s? Well, sometimes you don't need an ESP32, and the 8266 modules are actually quite a bit cheaper. So now I have the ability to do both. I'm going to do a proper review of these in a, a, another video, so stay tuned for that. I'm just going to uh, see if I can mount this in. Once again, do it on video. There we go. Look at that. That is so exciting. I don't even know how I'm going to close those. Get the cable back in. Put these to the side. So, that is my mail for today, except for one more thing. This is the box. Too big to fit on my table. I'm doing it on my couch. On the arms of my couch. Hopefully, I'm not going to wreck it. This box is from... Prusa Research. Yes, my friends, this is my Prusa Mark III. This is a kit. I ordered it in kit form because I thought that would be a smart thing to do. Now, I'm not so sure. Now, apparently, they're, they're quite easy to put together. Okay, I do not want to 
wet this box or make it fall off the couch. Original Prusa i3 kit. I am super looking forward to this. I'm not going to pull it all apart now, because that'd be crazy. Might open the top though, just to see what's inside. I'm sure it's going to be packaged so well. Okay. Check out, check out the instructions. Assembly instructions. I mean, it's all in color, which is beautiful. Look how thick that is. I don't know if this was a smart choice. Stickers. Hello, Joseph. Thank you for my printer, finally. I ordered this in February and I'd planned to order it earlier than February, but I ummed and ahed and ummed and ahed and ummed and ahed and then I finally ordered it and been waiting ever since. It's the kit that's got the orange bits on it. So it's black and orange, not the full black one. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to put this together tomorrow. I'm going to put it together with a friend of mine. His name's Andre. And I'm going to see if I can video it all, but like a time lapse. So um, it's not going to be an instructional video. It's just going to be a, hey everyone, watch Sion and Andre completely mess up building the i3 Mark III. Okay. Thank you for watching. Uh, thumbs up if you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, all that type of stuff. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.